Okay, everyone, we are back. We have another really great recipe, one that is made just especially for us busy moms. Thank yes. you for that. What's the biggest excuse people use for not eating fresh? They say, I don't have time. Right. Right? So it's all about preparing or getting ready or thinking ahead. And they don't want to take the time because they're tired after work. No, Let's, no, no. You're this right. Is like, look, watch. Let me show you one of my secrets. One of my favorite things to do is to, I take some flank steak because yep. it's lean and I get a really big piece for not that much money. I know. It's And great. I boil it. Right? Boiling is a healthy cooking method. So all right. we're going to add some aromatics. Two. I've got some garlic. Right. And some peppercorn. Right. We're just going to let it boil. Right. Right. And then over here, I'm going to make some dressing because it's all about the flavors. We're going to take some fresh basil. Oh, smell that. Oh, I love oh basil. Oh, my God. And to like say it in Spanish, so basilico? Albaca. Albaca. I don't want to tell you what basilico is. <laughs> We'll talk Maybe about that I later. I don't want to know. That was a jump word. <laughs> Google it at home. Google it. Okay. Ooh, that okay. So good. olive oil, the quality of olive oil you use is so important. Take yes. A, take a whip of that. Extra it's like virgin. So Got to awesome. do it. Yes. Oh. Italian. Yes. Red see. wine vinegar. Okay. A little bit of salt. Throw some garlic in there for okay. me. Always use kosher salt or you know sea salt. It's yep. better. It doesn't have all that iodine in it. Keep it natural. That's why we're making our own dressing because we want to stay away from all those additives and preservatives and sugar. So this way we control what we're going to eat. Okay, now in Spanish, what did you put in there? Albahaca, ajo, pimienta, Aha. sal, y vinagre rojo. Perfecto. So let's see, I, I think I got it right. Did I get it right, Mom? <laughs> My mom's over there. She's, she's like, watching. She's, she's so like, darling. okay, honey, okay. So that's the dressing. That's the dressing. So the key to good lettuce is? Nice and fresh and cold. And crisp, right. It so you want to throw be. some water, cold water. That's how you make it all nice and crunchy, yep. And put right? it right back in the fridge right, so throw that in there. Can. Are we going to use all of it? Yep. Remember, all of these recipes are on the website, so check it out. And if you want to ask Chef Lala some questions, Facebook us. We'll get them to yep. her. We also want to use a little bit of red onion. Okay, I'm going to get that out for some you. Some tomato. Why do a lot of people think that Mexican food is fattening? Because... I mean, let's get it out there. Well, check this out. Before the Iberian influence, really, there weren't even cows or pigs in Mexico or the Americas. So right. really, we used healthy cooking methods. We actually broiled or steamed or baked. And we didn't use that much meat. We actually added vegetables and then added meat as a little garnish, like right. this. Like, check this out. Once we take, once our meat is done after four hours or five hours, I usually come out with a bowl like this. And then so what I'll do is I'll take some of it and I'll freeze it. I'll put it in little bags or bolsitas, the way we say in Spanish. Bolsitas. Bolsitas. And then I add my meat to it, but just a little bit. And then the rest, I could save for the rest of the week to make tacos or taquitos or enchiladas. Just be creative Ooh. and add your tradition to it. All right, now how do you reconcentrate it once it's frozen? I think that's a big concern for folks too. Well, that stock that you boiled it yes. in, I froze that too in little ice cube trays. Very good. So, I promote that all the time. I love it. As a chef, always, always taste your stuff before putting it down. You know what's fun about this, you guys, mm, is this is how, oh. Oh, wow, with that vinegar in there? Well, oh, got yeah, me right baby. in the back of the throat. Oh, yeah. That's excellent. So we're going to toss this up. I haven't Throw those onions in that. there. And then, of course, we're going to get gotta some do it. avocado. Gotta I'm not going to toss the avocado in there because it's, it's, it's with your eyes. You want to enamorarlo con todos los sentidos. You want to make them fall in love with all the senses. Why don't you toss that I'm for me? I'm going to toss that up. Okay, so we're going to get our little, our, our little avocado here. And Place it, it like that. Top. What's really nice is when you eat like this, when you eat a great meal like this, completely balanced, guess what? You may still have a little room for dessert, but you don't have a lot of room for dessert. So you're really killing two birds with one stone. Okay, you started off by saying we didn't have time to make dinner. How long did it take us? No excuse. No, no none. Not. And it's Mexican Independence Day, so everybody ought to get out there and try something. And you have to do it like with a lot of flavor. Yes, and you have to do it with a lot of love. Absolutely. Two independent ladies here cooking it up. Just for you out there. Remember, you can get it on our website. We'll be right back. Con mucho amor. Con mucho amor. There you go. Very la good. La la. La la.